I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we have come up with three brilliant questions from Function Machine. It is an important topic for students taking up GCSE. Sometimes, in algebra part, this could be challenging. The questions are, find x for the given value of g of x. Question number 1, x times 3 plus 7 is g of x. g of x is given to you as 1. So that is how you have to read the question. We are given the value of g of x, you have to find the value of x. Perfect. You can pause the video and answer this question. Let me first thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent suggestions. The question comes from one of my students. I hope its solution will help many others. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. Most of my students are right there on the top of their class getting highest grades and scholarships. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Well, let's look into the understanding and solution of this particular question. We'll take these one by one. The very first one is x times 3 plus 7. g of x is the output. Right? So, what is g of x? So, in question number 1, what we interpret this as, we have an input, which is x, and the output is g of x. As you know, function machines perform operations in order. So, when you multiply by 3, the input x, at this stage, it becomes 3x. And then when you add 7, at that stage it becomes 3x plus 7 as the output. So there are two operations being performed on x, which results into the output, which is written in function notation as g of x. Normally, you had been writing this as y. So we could write this function g of x equals 2. So that is the output. 3 times the input plus 7. After these two simpler functions operations, you get the idea. These are all broken down into smaller operations. And that becomes the complete function for the givens function machine. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now the question is, find the value of x. That means this value. For the given value of g of x, given g of x. So, in this case, we are given that g of x is equal to 1. So, we can substitute this value right there for g of x. So, what the equation becomes? It becomes 1 equals to 3x plus 7. Do you understand this step? Perfect. That is what it really means. We are given the output, find the input. So, you could write this as given output, find input. It is that kind of equation. So, it involves reverse calculation, right? So, reverse calculation. 
So let's do that. So we'll now take 7 to the other side. So we have 1 minus 7 equals to 3x, which is 6, and negative 6 is equal to 3x. Perfect. So from here, you can find the value of x, which is what? Since 3x equals to negative 6, x is equal to negative 6 over 3, and therefore, x is equal to minus 2. So we have our solution, which is x equals to negative 2. You get the idea. So this is one way of doing it, and that is the algebraic method. Let me show you how exactly the reverse calculations work to solve the same question. So on a fresh page, we'll look into that part. So look here, what we are given is the value of g of x, right? Which is 1. So let's start with the output here. 1. And now let's go back. We need to figure out what is x. This is what we need to figure out. So we will do reverse operation. So reverse of positive is negative. So you will do minus 7 here to go back. So you will do 1 minus 7. And as soon as you do 1 minus 7, what do you get? You get minus 6. Let me write that in a different ink. You see that? Now when you get minus 6, in that case, you have another operation which is times 3. So what do you do now? So you do this operation which becomes divide by 3. You see that? So when minus 6 is divided by 3, what you get here is minus 2. Perfect. So that is how we could have got with reverse operation also. You get the idea. So this is another good way of doing it. So, so we reverse the whole thing to get the value of x. Perfect. You could practice like this. Now let's look into the second question. The second question involves square root. Sometimes that makes things difficult. But it is similar on the whole. x plus 1 square root g of x. So let's read the operation. What is happening to x to become g of x? So, so when you do from left to right, at this stage we are saying it is x plus 1. And then here we are doing square root of x plus 1. So that becomes g of x. So you can write down g of x as equal to square root of x plus 1. Is that clear to you? And now, we are given g of x as 7. You need to find what x is. So I am going to substitute the value g of x 7 and figure out what is x. So this is our equation to be solved. I'd like you to now pause the video and solve the equation. Solve for x. Make sense? Right? That is what we will do. Perfect. Now this time, I would like you to see the operations in the reverse order, which I explained last time. So let's do the reverse operation now. So we know that so this is, I'll call this a second method, okay? G of x is given to us as 7 as the output. Now square root means I will do reverse of this, which is 7 square, right? And then reverse of this will be, because this is plus, I will do 7 square minus 1, and that should give me x. You get the idea. So clearly I could calculate the value of x as equal to 7 square minus 1, which is 49 minus 1 or 48. Make sense? Do you see that? How simple it was? So this time we did it with reverse operation, 48. Now you would like to check, right? So let us check the operation. 
चेक कर रहा हूं सर फोर्टी एट इफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी एट इन दैट केस वॉट हैपन्स इन दैट केस लेटस से दिस इज फोर्टी एट फोर्टी एट प्लस वन विल बी फोर्टी नाइन एंड स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ फोर्टी नाइन विल बी सेवन राइट सो वी गेट द सेम ऑपरेशन यू गेट दी आइडिया सो इध वे इट वर्स इन द प्रीवियस केस वेन आई लेफ्ट विद द स्क्वेयर रूट you could solve this by what square both sides right so the method here is square both sides now this is a difficult step sometimes so reverse operation was simpler right so when you square you get 49 equals to x plus 1 and that clearly gives you 49 minus 1 equals to 48 as the value of x makes sense so we found that the value of x is 48 and we also checked it does it make sense to you perfect so this is how you should be solving these questions where the input is required to be calculated from the given value of output which is g of x in this case so here is the last question which i have written the operation in words x square add 3 you get g of x and for the given value of g of x is 39 you have to find x so find x for the given value of g of x is that clear to you you can adopt any method so let's do with algebraic method so when you square you get x square here right and then it is add 3 so we have x square plus 3 so that is g of x so we can say g of x equals to x square plus 3 and we are given the value 39 and therefore i am going to write down the equation as x square plus 3 equals to 39 so x square will be equal to 39 minus 3 which is 36 clear and therefore x is equal to square root of 36 which is equal to 6 now that could be one solution most students will stop at this stage now remember here that x is any real number so we normally write like this x belongs to real number so x is any real number that really means it could be negative number also so when you square root remember you have to always do plus and minus and therefore in this particular case we get two solutions one is plus 6 and the other one is minus 6 so if you only write one of them in that case you might lose marks and that is why this becomes a challenge question i hope it makes sense right Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Now, let's also look into this solution while doing reverse calculations. This time, what I'm doing here is making the blocks. So, when I do the reverse calculation, then these blocks work in the reverse order, right? So, let me write down here. We are not trying to do reverse or backward calculation some of you might like this approach now at this stage what is happening that we are given the output as 39 so when it hits the first block of functions the operation to be performed is reverse of addition 3 which is minus 3 correct and the second block square reverse operation square root 
correct? And then finally, you get your output, which in this case is the earlier input. So, when 39 has to be reduced by 3, we get 36. And when we take square root of 36, we get 6. But remember one thing, that whenever you do square root while following this path, you have to do plus and minus. And therefore, the output should be plus and minus 6. So we know x equals to plus and minus 6. Perfect. I would like you to check the result for at least minus 6. So let's check whether minus 6 is correct or not, right? So, if I give an input of minus 6, squaring will make it 36, right? Square is always a positive number. And when you add, you get 39. And that is what was given to you as the value of g of x. Make sense? So, I hope you have understood the whole operation. So, function machine, which is set of ordered operations shown in input-output kind of setup as shown here. There could be questions where you may be required to find the input when the output is given to you. So, these were three questions based on that concept. So, I hope you have understood. How do we solve such questions? Feel free to write your comments, share your views and suggestions. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.